do is we're going to ask an elementary student and some of our high school students about the instruction in their classroom. We are recording so that we will have a recording of this for you to use and maybe show when you go back with your staff. Tell us your name. Emmanuel Christian. And Emmanuel, what school do you go to? Abercano. And what grade are you going in? Into next year? Fifth. Hello, my name is Brian Carrillo. I'm about to be a senior this upcoming year and my future interest is that I want to be an IT specialist and if not, um, I hope to have a future as a pro soccer player. Hello, I'm Isaac Martinez. I'm going to be a senior and future interest would be mechanical en engineering, sorry. Uh, I'd want to go into robotics and that's honestly my dream. Florida Institute of Technology is where I'm looking at, Johnson & Wells, places like that. Hello, my name is Jeanette Nava. Um, I plan to be, uh, I plan to major in pediatric nursing. I really love working with children and I also love helping people. My name is Kang and I'm an upcoming junior and right now I'm working hard to become the valedictorian of class of 2019 and I want to go to MIT and be an IT specialist and also be involved in engineering as well. With your homework, if you could do it on your on the phone, tablet, or computer, so in case if they're doing it at home, they cannot forget the work at home, and they can save it and probably send it to the teacher or show it to the teacher in the morning. Sometimes you will lose your homework. Your your brother or sister will write it or rip it. So you might lose it. And what did you tell me about the teacher? Does the teacher ever? What do you like about the teacher getting your homework online? If he doesn't get your email, you, you can just show her and they're like, here, here's my computer, here's my work. So you say, this is where I emailed it to her, so neither one of you can lose it. If I were the teacher, I would definitely change the amount of work she'd start giving, like I said. Also, the amount of time she spends speaking. Um, I would probably try to focus on making um, our activity hands-on instead of looking at a screen or listening to the teacher speak half of the class. Instead of taking our technology, probably our most, or definitely our most important resource and tool to use, we find a way to use it better, to moderate it better. Because I've seen that you're on your phone, take it up, it's with me to end the class, whatever you want to do with it. And like I said, it saved me in physics. That was my most important tool. So bottom line, please don't take our technology away. Find a way for us to use it. If, if you see that, that some students actually pay attention by using music, you can actually just let them use it, the music so they can concentrate and so they can finish the work without any problems with students distracting them. Okay, so straight off the bat, it has to be computer programming because we were able to collaborate with each other and we were able to come up with different ways to approach a problem. So I started building a computer before I started working at this internship, if you like to call it. And I was able to go to YouTube, to Twitter, to find out all these different things about different computer parts and I was able to learn on my own. I could stay interested because it's what I wanted to learn. And not only did I end up learning about how to build it and each component, I was able to learn different aspects of each part, say clock speeds, different stuff like that. I, I wouldn't want to bore you up with that. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, being able to use these resources, these tools, I was able to learn, it probably took me two days to learn how to build a PC. And with a teacher, if they were to say, hey, learn this part, learn it my way, and learn it in this sequence, I probably wouldn't have been able to stick to it the way I did. One of the things that I liked about one of my classes was that one of my teachers was used FaceTime for us students to allow to talk to a specialist, and she incorporated that into the lesson as well, so I was able to get feedback and learn something new at the same time. Um, something I liked about my favorite class was that when we had a question she wouldn't just give us the answer right away. 
She would ask us more questions about that questions and made us figure out the answers by ourselves. I think that the teacher would give us hints and let us figure out the answers by ourselves instead of just giving us the answers right away. Uh, something that my favorite teacher did, we had this extra activities and this one particular uh, activity, we could live chat a whole class filled with probably 40 students that it was talking to one specialist and that one specialist was a, a dinosaur bone expert and not just that, it's just being able to have a conversation with someone that was so far away in an instant, not waiting for a message, not waiting for an email, but having instant feedback on a question you had or um, just curiosity that we had as a kid that we could get answered. I want, I want to expand on my learning. I don't want the exact answer at that moment. I want to expand my learning as I go. I want to improve myself mostly so I can show others. I want to help others, but through that I have to grow myself first. We do not like to be sat down and lectured to and taught one certain way of how to do things. So say it was an algebra problem. She said, here's the instructions. Here's how you do it, not here's ways to do it, how to do it. And that's why we lost interest because we weren't able to say collaborate. We weren't able to say, here's the most efficient way for me and here's the most efficient way for you in a group. It's just sit down, go down to your worksheet and do it the way I told you to. See, it's already starting to sound pretty repetitive. <laughs> um. Sometimes I get ahead and I have to wait for many other students to finish. So if possible, I would prefer for the teacher to have something that's more advanced prepared just in case if I finish early because I want to focus on my own individual improvement. If possible, I prefer to have teachers have not more work, but um, allow me to move on to the next thing that we'll be learning later. I observed that in one of my classes, I sat in the back and there were the distracting kids would sit in the front, or the troublemakers basically. Um, and the teacher would be so focused on them and trying to get them to work on those worksheets that she wouldn't pay attention to the kids that were actually trying to do their work. So um, basically, at times she would ignore me to try to get those kids on track. And I think that if there weren't so many worksheets, then those kids wouldn't get distracted in the first place and everybody would have a fair opportunity to get to work on their stuff. Oh, there's always those four or five that you didn't do right and you did wrong and say, whenever the teacher does get to grade it about a week later, you've had yourself doing it wrong that entire week. You weren't able to fix it at that moment. So we were using a website and it gave you a set of problems and as soon as you got one wrong, it gave you, here's how you did it wrong, here's how you could do it right. And say it was a graphing problem, it gave you the graph with steps and an obvious line that showed you, here's exactly what you did wrong visually. And the instant feedback was ways to keep me from doing the problems wrong on the rest of what I was doing. You tell me you finish your work early a lot of times. What happens when you finish your work? You gotta wait for everybody to catch up. But if the teacher says, today we're gonna do this, this, First we're gonna do this around this time, then that. If the teacher show you that, you can actually, after you finish, you can actually go to the next thing. And you'd like to go to the next activity and so that you're not waiting on everyone or maybe even help some people. Yes. Okay. Something that really caught my attention is that our motto is growing the minds of tomorrow today. And yet we were given uh, like Emmanuel said as well, is that whenever we finish our work, they give us extra work just for that same day. But yeah, we can be going advanced and grow, keep going forward and forward and forward, and we'll be more advanced each day. The students are actually smarter than they think they are, and we just have to give them the tools to expand their own way. Okay.